What the what, what happened? Did I no way? Hey what's good guys, welcome back to Tech Smart, and I'm so excited for this video. This one's going to be something you've never seen, trust me. A few months back, I don't know if you guys caught this video, if not, make sure you get subscribed so you're kept up to date, but I checked out this mini iPhone, and what's surprising is, over 60,000 of you clicked the link to pick one of these up, so thank you guys, but it kind of got me thinking. This phone's cool, but what would be cooler is a phone that has more features, more tech, is up to date in 2018, and I think I found it. So, what I'm about to show you is just that, and you are about to be blown away. And let's just get into this thing. It's in this tiny box. Like, most smartphone boxes are huge. They're the size of a house. So, at the top, you got your SIM tool, pretty basic. So, this is the Atom, the world's most rugged, small, phone. I mean, there's so many things I could tell you. So let's just get into what this phone is packing. The screen is HD. 1080p screen. On the front, right up here, is an 8 megapixel camera. On a phone this small, that's like selfie quality of the iPhone 10. There's a fingerprint reader at the bottom. A fingerprint reader. This looks like the OnePlus 2 fingerprint reader. I mean, a fingerprint reader on a phone this small. It's IP68 certified. On the back, 16 megapixel camera. My iPhone is 12. I'm starting to have some second thoughts we're gonna do a little drop test at the end of the video so stay tuned for that I'm just losing it this thing is amazing sim card slot on the side you have your volume buttons of course and it charges with USB-C that's the coolest part and my buddy Zach from Jerig everything actually tore this phone apart so if you want to check that out I'll leave a link down below it's pretty cool to see what makes this thing tick from the inside so powered by Android now what version of Android you're probably thinking Android 4 Android 5 no this is running the latest Android 8.1 Oreo. How did they do it? how did they get it? Half my phones that are from big companies don't even have Android 8.1 on it. So let's just jump into this thing. It's got an HD screen, has NFC in it, amazing octa-core processor, four gigabytes of RAM in here. What, how? I don't even wanna know what the mini iPhone had inside. I'm sure it's not even a full gigabyte of RAM, which is really gonna help between app multitasking and just overall performance of the phone. I'm really digging this one. Like for 219 bucks, if you still wanna pick it up on Kickstarter, I think it's gonna go for a little more when it fully retails. This could be the world's smallest phone with a fingerprint scanner. You guys let me know in the comments if that's the case. But I wanna see how quick and recognizable this is. On a phone this small, you'd hope it'd be good. I mean, it's security. Okay, it's almost like too small that it's like hard to register my finger. Is it done? Lock it? Oh boy. I feel like I gotta just learn where to place my finger. Give me a few days. I mean, wait, I don't, that sound a little crazy. Let's take that back. With this phone, they've been able to pack some pretty big specs and stuff that you'd find in a seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollar phone in a form factor like this with all this goodness for 219 bucks. So you guys might have known this, but the Atom, the original one, the first phone of these, raised over a million dollars on Kickstarter, and the Atom here is at the same. Over a million dollars is pledged to this thing. So let's put it to the test. Let's see if they're actually about it and they're real. We'll do a drop test. Three. Two, one. Check this out. Didn't land on the screen, so I wanna to try to do one where it lands on the screen. It took the damage here, and that's why this is really rigid, tough plastic, a lot of rubber. You're gonna be secure if you drop it. So let's try to drop it on the screen. Dropping in three, two, one. Oh, baby. Here we go. Did it make it? Is it really that rugged? Oh wow, yeah boys, look at that. So what's cool, I just realized this, it has this kind of lip, so the rubber on the sides raises higher than the screen, so when you drop it, this is just me here, it's actually making contact with the rubber first instead of the glass. That's sweet. I'm gonna get in my car, see if I can drive over it. What the? <laughs> well, it's not totally indestructible. Wait, wait, wait. what happened? Dude, I, did I, no way. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you can't drive over it with a car. You're not gonna be driving over your phones, but I wanted to put it to the test because this thing is perfect. It's done everything and more. It is so durable. I could actually see myself using this instead of a smartphone, which is kind of crazy because this is a smartphone. It's just a different type of one. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you get subscribed by clicking that circle button. Check out some other videos. I'll see you later. Peace.